G'day guys. This is the unfixable, well the one mine lab said, or whoever, said it could not be repaired. And you can hear it. So this one was deemed unrepairable. And we got it going. I'll show you the repair. I'll just um, unplug it. I don't want to listen to the noise, but uh, this is just to help anyone who. It's pretty difficult to do one handed, but I'll try and hold this and uh, point out the fix its. Okay. You can tell this is an old detector too. It's got the pins um, there, the connector pins, rather than the um, mylar inserts. It's got this bizo, so it's um, fairly ancient. Okay, fault. First fault. 200 volt capacitor had been replaced by somebody. Um, it wasn't soldered in properly. Um, I have put a new um, MOSFET driver in there. I had to repair it. Um, someone had stuffed the heat sinking. But what I've done is uh, made a bit of copper under there and some solder around to some uh, um, substantial um, track work. It goes to the other side to the uh, diode that uh, allows. The top top one there, the one I, ref I fixed, goes to the bottom diode, which is around there, that one. Anyway, we'll get on with the repair part. You can probably see this, this um, had a catastrophic failure. You can see in there I've replaced a PNP and an NPN FET gate driver pair of uh, transistors. I've also uh, replace this um, it was actually a, a HCT 4538 with a HCF um, that was actually getting hot I don't know why it's got nothing to do with the um, drive but it was getting hot so I've uh, pulled the other one out and stuck that one in and I got some uh, well basically I've got no heat coming out of it anyway it does other functions but the main thing, what had happened, there is a, I'll explain, I'll get to get my pokey thing. Okay. This is just for reference for you guys who want to fix these. Okay. These transistors here, uh, it's an NPN, a PNP, drive the gate of this FET top left hand corner is the gate okay that um, then goes through this resistor here it's roughly I think 470 or 480 ohms goes through this one make sure it's not open circuit because when you get a, a failure on these things it can uh, put negative voltage back through everything short short um, enough current can get through that 470 and lo and behold it took out the ADG333 which is that gadget there so um, on this which drive that the switching positions are pin 19, 18 and 17 and um, it wasn't switching um, uh, which one wasn't I can't remember <laughs> it wasn't switching on pin 19 I think that's um, negative voltage. So yeah, like I say, it's got it's got resin all over it at the moment. I've got to clean it all up, and uh, yeah, don't, I've cleaned up some of that uh, um, bad. Well, um, yeah, I won't say bad soldering, but it uh, didn't look nice to me. But yeah, it's, she's all fixed. I solder these um, on. I use them as um, ground connections. That's a ground. A ground there to solder a pin I'd solder a bit of wire um, or a leg off a resistor there 
so I can hook the oscilloscope probe to it, so it makes it easier. I can't. There's there's nowhere really you could bite a ground on these. It's a little bit little tab at the front of the board, but it's not very good. Um, so just put just solder it in. Um, that's the ground point, top and bottom of the board. Then you can uh, poke around and make sure that you know you can what you're measuring is uh, you know got a good ground. That that's where I do it on the other side of the board. If you have a look, I just put a tail of wire there, same spot. Just flood it with solder and uh, put a ground there. And uh, yeah, so this is um, resurrected. So um, that one is fixed. It took a while to do actually. Um, it's got a lot of work on that. <laughs> Again. You know, um, but to make up the little um, surround for that power MOSFET because that does a long pulse. It does um, want to sit there and draw a lot of current over the time period it's on. So I, I checked it, it doesn't get hot, it's fine. It's th Those FETs are about, um, I think about 70 milliohms or something like that, maybe, maybe less because. Um, uh, Doing that runs fairly uh, cold, doesn't get hot. Maybe the junction does, but it just handles it beautifully. I've done it before. Uh, those uh, devices down there, P and N, and uh, yes, four five three eight. Um, there's a lot of those. Um, used to used to be um, in the GP three thousands. Bloody things full of um, those four five three eights, and. Yeah, the rest of it's okay. Uh, yeah, so this thing, um, I had to lift the diodes off there. I had to, I had funny continuity, and uh, it just looked like leakage. So I lifted those. I had to check everything, but it wasn't. It was going back in um, past those through those transistors there, and then uh, the um, ADG triple three was shorted um, on one of those um, gates. The, these things are. Uh, um, it's just a quad switch, but it can switch above and below ground. Um, but they're a woeful device for this. They really are. You want to see the waveforms that come out um, in certain parts of it. It's hmm, interesting, to say the least. Yeah, they don't um, deliver enough current. It's okay for, you know... When you're running, um, you know, you've got um, dry, but, well, there's actually right next to it, I don't know if you can see, down there, there's, there's two transistors that I've replaced. There's a capacitor in the middle, then there's another two transistors. Those ones there do the 15-volt power fit, which is the one that uh, someone did replace, and that's that one at the end of my finger there. And this is the one that was all butchered up um, with no device there. And yeah, the resistor's okay. The um, it's only current limiter, but it's funny, isn't it, that uh, this thing um, was probably taken out by a backfeed of current or voltage getting through that uh, 470 ohm and just um, zapping um, the gate out of it. But anyway, I've got a few of those, which is good. The um, only sad thing is that these these devices here are discontinued. Uh, you, you can, you know, you got to look at it, right? These um, they're two hundred volt rated, and you want to get it uh, as low uh, on resistance as you can. And you know the SOIC little package there. There's probably there's probably um, replacements around. I haven't looked, but I just had some. Um, other devices and I just pressed them into service. It'll work. It'd be fine. And if you really, if you really want to um, up it, you can solder another one directly on top. Uh, everyone will say, "Oh, don't do that. You make current share." But if you get the legs really, really into that, um, build the solder up around the, on the drain and source connections, and uh, it'll be right. It, it one won't get hot over the other. It's, there's not that much in it, you know. When you're talking of these things, um, you know, 
whatever it is, you know, 30 milliohms or 70 milliohms, it's just not enough there. And, uh, you know, it's, if it's a couple, a couple of milliohms out from, you know, each other, who cares? It's not going to do anything. It'll work beautifully. Check the waveform if you do that. It'll bet you it looks exactly the same as using one or two, but it's got um, double the current capability. Anyway, that's enough for this. I'll try and stitch this to the other video. If not, it'll be a separate one. Um, catches. Bye.